Could you stop lying? I have a sincere request to all the innovation teams and product teams out there who are working on new business models to stop coming up with fantasy numbers on your business plan. Whenever there is a new business model, innovation teams have to present a business plan to secure funding. And we've all seen that in the business plans, you have this market size of 500 million, and there is an optimistic scenario of getting that 10% of the market, and there is a pessimistic scenario with 1% market. And even if you get 1%, we'll get 10 million annual recurring revenue. And then this data is backed up with uh, some research data from industry, which has been done by top consulting companies. Some teams also run their own market and user research with surveys and focus groups to back further this data. The problem is they do get the funding uh, after presenting this, this kind of data. Then they go and build the product, launch it, just to find out that nobody wants that. Most of these products which are launched fail in the market. So next time you see a business plan, I would like you to see four dangerous things in that. Number one, look out for data from research done by uh, top consulting companies. Most of these companies also do the research keeping their own interest in mind. So we don't know what kind of bias these research have, what kind of subjects were used in this research. So try and not use other people data in your uh, business plans. Number two, Look for how old this data is. If it's older than six months, then this data is as stale as this banana. World has moved on, you should too. Number three, look for over optimism in the plan. We'll get the best talent in the industry. Uh, there are these fantasy financial that we'll you know, build the product launch and in five years will be worth 100 million. And those pessimistic one-person conversions which are there in the business plan, in reality, they turn out to be 0.0001%. Number four, look out for opinions and beliefs your users are sharing with you. Uh, your own market research teams are gonna run these surveys and focus groups to collect this data. But the problem with this data is that this data tells you what users are thinking they will do in future, not necessarily how they will actually behave. A very simple example of this is, if you're gonna ask me, what am I gonna to do tomorrow morning, I'll tell you. I'll wake up at six, I will do my meditation, and I'll do my yoga. But in reality, tonight, I'll be watching Netflix in, to, to like tw two in the morning, and then drinking my beer and chips with it. And most probably, I'm gonna wake up at 10 in the morning with a hangover. So don't use the data where your customers are actually telling you what they will do in future. In general, business plans are worth nothing. So if you have a new business idea, I would highly recommend to secure a small budget uh, to figure out all the unknowns and your assumptions in the idea and run some experiments uh, to validate or invalidate these assumptions. Please don't uh, even plan to build the product. And how you can run experiments, we'll be talking about that in our future videos. For now, what you can do is you can download our uh, experiment playbook and other innovation canvases from link up or down here and uh, learn more about experimentation. That's it for now. Have a lovely day.